ഹായ് എവരി വൺ ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ കുഞ്ഞു മൊയ്തീൻ സീനിയർ കൺസൾട്ടൻറ്റ് ബിർള ഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഐ വി എഫ് ഐ എം പ്രാക്ടീസിങ് ഫോർ ലാസ്റ്റ് ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ വെരി കോമൺ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഫ്രം ദി കപ്പിൾ കമ്മിങ് ഫോർ ഇൻഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ദ ആസ് മീ റെഗുലർലി വെരി ഓഫൺ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ റൈറ്റ് ടൈം ഓർ റൈറ്റ് ഏജ് ടു ഡു ഐ വി എഫ് ഷുഡ് ഐ ഡു ഐ വി എഫ് നൗ ഓർ ഐ വെയ്റ്റ് ഫോർ സം മോർ ടൈം ലെറ്റ് എസ് ഡിസ്കസ് ദിസ് ഇൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ വി ഓൾ ഷുഡ് ബി അവെയർ അബൌട്ട് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ റൈറ്റ് ഏജ് ടു ഡു ദി ഐ വി എഫ് ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡൂയിങ് ഐ വി എഫ് ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് അറ്റ് ദ റൈറ്റ് ഏജ് ഹൗ ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി മോർ മീനിങ്ഫുൾ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ഓൾ ദി അവെയർനെസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് ഏജ് ഓൺ ഇൻഫർട്ടിലിറ്റി before starting first we'll see what ivf is ivf means in vitro fertilization that means fertilization happens outside human body you know naturally after the intercourse semen gets deposited in the upper part of vagina after liquefaction of the semen the sperm will move gradually through the uterus across the fallopian tubes towards the end of fallopian tube where it will get the opportunity to meet the oocyte that is egg the best sperm will get the opportunity again to fertilize the oocyte that's how an embryo is being formed whereas in ivf this entire process of fertilization happens outside the human body that is in the laboratory after the stimulating the ovaries with hormones we take out the oocytes that is x outside the ovary then we get good sperms from the husband's semen and we put both together in the incubator for the ivf where the best sperm will fertilize naturally fertilize the oocyte but in icsi that is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection like the na- name itself mentions we inject the best sperm into the best egg and create the uh, embryo so the egg gets fertilized by the injected sperm so this is actually we call ivf in general and technologically ivf and icsi are different but ultimately we create the embryos in the laboratory and we keep this embryo back into the uterus after 5 days or 3 days of growth in the incubator then we observe the patient with supportive medicines and we expect to have a pregnancy happen after 2 weeks now as i mentioned initially age is one of the most important denominator which is deciding the success of an ivf treatment why age matters is it only for the females age is very important both for the females as well as for the males in the males generally when the man gets older the sperm dna fragmentation that is the sperms with the fragmented dna that percentage will go up so that can affect the sperm quality its fertilization potential and the chance of that man to become a father that will be affected but most important thing the age affects females more often all the women are born with certain number of eggs already stored in both ovaries and this storage happens while that woman is there in her mother's womb as a fetus or baby from the day of menstruation starts maybe 12 years 14 years or so right from that point this distribution of a selected egg happens during a process called ovulation you all might be familiar about the term ovulation so a fixed number of eggs are reserved in the ovary that gets depleted over a period of time so ultimately towards after some 2 3 decades this reserve will gets over and they get into menopause that means after the birth 
in a woman only the distribution of x happen the production is already over before birth whereas in a man both the production and distribution both happens simultaneously after birth and it continues till the death of that man but woman that is not true for her that the reserved quantity of the eggs that will be there till that stock is over so as the woman grows older and older maybe after 30 years in indian woman maybe after 35 years for the uh, european or western woman but for the caucasians asians for us that depletion and aging starts bit earlier but all together after 35 this egg reserve will comes down not only the reserve of egg the quality of egg also will come down as the age advances this will be more evident after the age of 40 so after the age of 35 or 40 you get very less number of x during ivf because of the quality of x is not that great like a younger woman the quality of embryo the number of embryos everything will be affected and one more thing happens because of the aging the chromosomes in the egg or the chromosomes which is getting transmitted to the next generation that gets aged because of this age the chromosomal abnormalities like aneuploidy that can happen for the egg and aneuploidy that means the number in the chromosomes will be different so a number in the embryos will be different and because of that the ivf can be a failure so as the age advances the number decreases the quality decreases the chromosome gets bad or damaged so the your chance of ivf pregnancy because of these three reasons that will come down drastically so the age is the most important denominator so when you ask me what is the right age to do ivf i suggest you do as early as possible as soon as you recognize that you have an infertility issue which is not treatable by the regular medications or treatment so after 35 years of age even after you are not able to conceive by natural intercourse with the support of medicines or without the support of medicines you should approach a fertility specialist and get ivf done after the age of 40 you should not wait after marriage after the age of 30 within one year or even after one year of intercourse trying for pregnancy you are not able to conceive you have to take proactive treatment so that is the importance of age and age is the most important denominator in infertility treatment next the big question why you should not delay doing ivf there are some specific situations where you should not delay the ivf of that the most important thing as i mentioned earlier is the age if your age is more than 35 if you have a valid reason that you are not conceiving within 6 months you should not delay ivf so age is the first thing second if you have identified even if you are young and if you are identified with because doctors do at the first instance of your consultation some tests called hormone tests in that one common or important test is the amh test that will tell you whether you have good ovarian reserve or not along with the ultrasound examination of the ovaries if they categorize you as the low amh or poor ovarian reserve you should not wait further because it will get worsened when your age goes up if you have pcod and not able to conceive with regular treatments you are controlling the diet reducing the weight proper exercise still no pregnancy no ovulation properly then ivf is one of the things which can save you third endometriosis what is endometriosis endometriosis is happening of the uh, when you see happen to see the endometrium that is ideally be seen only inside the uterus if it is seen somewhere else most commonly it will be seen in the ovaries creating cyst ovarian cyst so that can reduce the ovarian reserve so you have to take treatment as early as possible because sometimes 
the inadvertent surgeries can reduce the ovarian reserve further and if you have severe male factor infertility if your husband is having severe male factor infertility the count is very low testicular volume is less or the count is zero then you should not wait your time you should not wait for the time to pass off because things will get worsened as the time goes on so immediately you have to take treatment and preferably that is an ivf xc treatment you can speak freely to us regarding ivf treatment or how it impacts ivf treatment or fertility all these things you can discuss with us we'll be very happy to assist you to start your journey to parenthood we are here with all hearts all science